Came out for a day hike at a local nature preserve pretty close to my house. Wanted to bring a couple pieces of gear out here to play with and figured I'd go ahead and do a review on the Bora Gear Ultralight Bug Bivy. This Bug Bivy is a lot like the regular Ultralight Bivy that they have with just the netting over the head, but it is completely netted on top, which is really nice, especially in summertime. When you're under a tarp, you aren't really worried too much about uh, rain splashing in, stuff like that. It does have a little bit of a kind of bathtub floor to it when you pitch it upright, but it offers complete breathability on the top. So it, just as much air as you could possibly get moving around you with whatever the circumstances are when you're hiking and uh, camping out in the summertime. So with, uh, with this one, it is a uh, 0.7 ounce uh, per square yard, no CM netting on the top with the 30D sill nylon on the bottom. So just like their ultralight with the uh, sill nylon floor, but like I said, just that no seam netting for the full top. It does have a couple of pullouts up at the top and then standard, they put two tent stake loops on the foot end. So I wanted to kind of do this review a little differently than I've done some of the other reviews where I wanted to go ahead and pitch it up and show you what it looks like with a sleeping pad in it. And I, you know, I'm six foot tall. This thing says it'll go up to six foot one inches tall. I'm a side sleeper, so I wanted to kind of give you an idea of what it looks like with a side sleeping six foot tall person inside of it. Um, I, so for the for the setup today, and I wanted to do it different in a way that I'm getting inside it and showing you that I'm going to do that first, and then I'll get up, get the camera up, and walk around and take a look at it and show you kind of how I have it set up. But the, the gist of it is I've got a ridge line continuous from two trees, kind of like I would pitch up a, a tarp in between two trees if I was hammock camping. And with that, it allows, you know, just a com complete view of what's going on with the bivy and how it's set up and everything. So uh, let me get inside. I'll uh, zip myself in. This is the side zip, so it's pretty easy to get in and out of. But uh, bear with me a little bit here. I don't have anybody with me, so uh, I have nobody to follow me around with the camera. So I'm going to get inside, kind of roll around in it a little bit, and uh, zip it up, and then uh, get out and, and take you for a look around it. All right, so I don't know if you saw, but it is very, very important to have this on some really flat ground. As soon as I climbed inside there, my pad slipped to one side. I'm a little uneven here just because uh, 
well, it's a nature preserve. There isn't really set camping spots or anything like that because you aren't supposed to camp out here. So just kind of had to make do with what I had. Um, so what I've got, just take a look around here. What I've got for the, the setup to pitch it is I've just got kind of a ridge line that runs across to this other tree over here. And then to uh, keep it in place and stretched out there, I've got a piece of shock cord here and it just loops through a mitten hook and then back down through a cord lock to allow for as much adjustability as you need. This thing can be pitched up with a couple of trekking poles at either end. So it's good to have that just kind of universal setup so you can do whatever you want with it. And then I just loop the, uh, the stuff sack for it over the ridge line so that I could kind of get almost like a, like a trucker's hitch or something to hold it tight. So moving around, did the same thing on this end, but uh, I used the Cuban ground sheet from MLD, that stuff sack for that. So like I said, it is a, uh, a side zip it does come up over the, the top and zip down the other side. You need absolute dexterity to use this thing. Uh, a lot like at the other bivvies, when they have the number three YKK zipper, the uh, zipper pulls on it are so small. Um, I, I really should go ahead and tie a piece of cord on there to be able to pull on it a little bit easier. But again, this isn't an ideal pitch for it, uh, just, just simply because I'm not on flat ground. But you can see, how much space is here with the 20 inch wide Thermarest X light in it. When everything's pulled tight out here, there's quite a bit of room in there. Definitely could uh, roll over and side sleep. Wouldn't have any problem fitting your sleeping bag. And um, really if I, if I just kind of slide this all the way to the head end, you can see I've got probably a good 10 inches at the bottom. And then uh, these are the two tie out loops. Again, this thing is 6.87 ounces on my scale. I think it's really universal. It's a, it's a nice bivy. It definitely uh, checks a lot of boxes for summer camping. Being able to uh, just kind of pitch this thing up and get air moving all around you all the time. So, all right, if you have any questions, just let me know and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching.